croeso i Bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. just gone dawn on one of the most beautiful reservoirs in the Brecon Beacons. This is Pond Stickith Reservoir. I come here so much, I absolutely love it up here. It's just so peaceful, so tranquil, but there's also some very, very nice pike in here. So hopefully we might just get a run at some point. sort of like sense of anticipation you can feel almost like a, a crackle in the atmosphere big band of mist slowly burning off sun's just lifted up above the tree line gentle ripple heading down down the lake oh, it feels really good for a bite set a few traps got them spread out at various sort of distances all big sort of stinking dead baits dipped in oils some are in close, some are out far. There was a big band of topping fish earlier, so we sort of tried to cover that area. I've got my rods down here. My very, very good pike fishing friend, Chris Owl, is just a little bit further up in the trees. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're gonna hear those alarm sound and we'll get a good run. This reservoir is part of the Merthyr Tidville Angling Association Club book. It is available to everybody. You know, you go and buy that book, you can get access to waters just like this. There's this reservoir here. They've got a couple of fantastic trout fishing reservoirs as well. Carp fishing lakes, there's a brilliant section of the River Taff, other rivers as well. Whatever fishing you're into, whether it's trout or coarse, carp, predator angling, you are covered with Merthyr Tidville from beginner right through to specialist angler. So jump on their website and you can pick up a ticket for about 65 pounds for a year. Fantastic value for money. I've got to be honest with you, I moved to Wales about 12 years ago now and I honestly could not believe the club fishing that you've got around here. You know, I've really felt like I've been mugged off pretty much my entire angling life until the point that I came over this side of the border. It is just fantastic. The range of fishing that you've got, you must head to the Fishing in Wales website and you can see pretty much the whole range of fishing that's available to you. Not just clubs, day ticket waters as well. Anything that you would like as an angler, you are covered within this country. Absolutely fantastic place. Yeah. 
well. Been waiting all day. The conditions have not been good. Very, very bright, very, very still. As it always tends to happen. Last knockings, witching hour, screaming run. And Chris could be into quite a nice fish here. The old master. I've been coming here for years with this man. He is my sensei, he is my guru. He has taught me more about pike angling than anyone else on the planet. And I spent a lot of time netting fish for him as well. So a little bit nervous, hope we don't stuff this up because I suspect this will be the fish of the day. It's a good one, Chris, is it? Good man. Take your time, buddy. Oh, oh hello, here we go. Here she comes, nice and easy. Oh God, it's only just hooked. It's only just hooked and it's in the net. Get in. Yes, mate. Well done, mate. Nice fish. Nice fish. He's playing it cool. That is a cracker. That is a belter. Oh, what a fish that is. Right. Got to be so careful with this now. You know, to a lot of pike anglers, especially the beginners out there, you look at a fish like this and it's undeniably a monster. Big pike are such fragile creatures. Go on in, Chris, you get cracking, mate. You've got to, you've got to be so careful when you're unhooking them. A big, thick unhooking mat is a must, obviously a long one. And you notice here now the way that Chris is straddling the pike, it's actually a little bit easier with the bigger fish sometimes. They've got a little bit more weight. Long nose pliers, essential. Good firm grip on the underside of the jaw. Yet, yeah, if you come around here, you can see there are a lot of teeth in there. You've got the dagger, almost wolf-like teeth along the jawline. Aesox lucius, of course. There we are, the fish is out. And then you've got that pads as well, three pads of backward facing teeth in there. What goes in there rarely comes out. Gently does it. There she is. I'll hold it up. Chris can read out the number. What do we reckon? 24 and a half. Wow. Well done, mate. Well done. Water fish. Mega. Just about to reel up now and call it a day. Oh, fishing, man. I mean, we had almost called it a day, all but called it a day. The fat lady wasn't exactly singing, but she was doing her rehearsals, let's just put it that way. And then you pull a fish like that out of the bag, just magical. And this is just an example of so many places in Wales, so many special places hidden away on these club books that you can come and fish. You just get your membership or head to the Fishing in Wales website and it's all out there waiting for you. Special moments like this, on banks just like this. Discover Fishing in Wales 